Scott McEwen, here we are in another week of this investigative uh, push into Brett Kavanaugh. What have we what have we learned? What are you picking up from all of this? Well, what I'm picking up, Brett, from my perspective, is that there's no such thing as uh, non-leaked information in, in Washington, D.C. I mean, every every supposed fact that's revealed on this guy, you know, by the FBI seems to be public knowledge within minutes of whatever interviews are taking place, which causes me concern as to the validity and the veracity of the FBI of the FBI, if you will, um, investigation. One of the things that's uh, come out is obviously this parade of people who claim to have knowledge that they hadn't come forward with in the past. I'm setting aside uh, Ford and, and Swetnick and, 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 and Ramirez. What I'm talking about are these people like his roommate who comes out and does a press briefing on his lawn yesterday saying that, oh, yeah, I saw Scott. I mean, I saw uh, uh, Brett Kavanaugh drunk in college and, and all this. So now what are we doing? We're building up a perjury charge to neutralize him when we can't really have the sex charges verified. We're going to go to a perjury charge now? Well, you know, look, we've, we've discussed this before. I mean, have, I shudder to think maybe somebody, I, I consider myself to be a pretty good student, nowhere near the student of Brett Kavanaugh, but the guy admitted that he drank some beer mm -hmm. in college. I think probably all of us drank beer in college, or many of us drank beer in college, maybe a couple too many beers at a certain given yep. point in time. That being said, mm -hmm. if that is going to be the determiner whether someone is, is, is able to go to high office, then one has to wonder why Barack Obama was the president of the United States after admitting to drinking, smoking pot, and I believe, uh, you know, some, some white substance as well while he was in college. So the question is, I mean, are we going to disqualify everybody for drinking beer in college or having a couple too many beers just because somebody was there at a party and said, oh, well, he had a couple too many beers? I mean, come on. This is the United States. we we got to be rational about what we're doing. The man doesn't have a drinking problem at this point in his life, and I don't believe ever. But that being said, there are things that were done in high school and college that I, I'm glad I don't have to deal with at this point in my life. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm with you. On, I'm with you on that in a big way. I think the White House has handled this right, though, allowing the FBI to do this investigation. They tried to get uh, the, the press tried to buffalo the president yesterday by saying, oh, you know, you're limiting the scope. You're limiting all of this stuff. The president said FBI can do what they got to do when it comes to investigating this. I just want it to be quick. On the heels of that announcement, you know, Dick Blumenthal comes out yesterday uh, and, and, and Chuck Schumer comes out today and says, well, we've got 20 more people we want to talk to, 25 more people we want them to talk to. Sure. OK, move those goalposts a little further back. Right. That's 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 all we're talking about here. Well, I don't think they're going to be able to get away with this this time, Brett. I think that everybody from the beginning of these hearings, let's not forget how this whole thing kind of lined out. From the beginning of these hearings, they asked for a, you know, a, a, a recess. They asked for a delay. They asked for all of the entire process during the, during, during the, the, you know, the hearings. So how do they get away with that? I have no idea. Yeah, it's an unbelievable thing. All right, so if you're a betting man, as it stands right now on a Tuesday, uh, supposedly Mitch McConnell wants to get this pushed through by Friday. Uh, do you do you think he gets on the bench? I do believe he gets on the bench. What do you think? I believe he gets on the bench. And let me tell you something else, Brett. And we're, we're, we're missing some news that's out there. The fact of the matter is Donald Trump walking into these international negotiations is akin to is akin to what I witnessed with Mike Tyson when I used to watch his prize fights at the beginning of his 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 career. People feared him. People were respectful people walked into the you know a fight with mike tyson knowing that he was going to bring it i use the same analogy right now with donald trump i think that these negotiations that he did with nafta with canada and mexico were brilliant i think what he's done with korea was brilliant i think we must focus on the big picture here and i think donald trump has told these people in congress look you better respect me you better vote with me because if i go out on the campaign trail and draw fifty thousand people at some of these things i'm doing i'm not going to support you if you don't support me and that's exactly what he should do as the president of the united states I think we win. I think Brett Kavanaugh wins. It's a great point. And I think we sweep.